Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the extremely awesome Seinfeld theme, okay? So without saying anything more, I'll give you a quick preview so you know what to expect. It goes like this. <laughs> Etc. Okay, really awesome stuff. I really like it. Hope you do as well. And let's break it up into parts and learn it. Okay. So this is what happens. There's actually kind of two sections to it because you'll only play the first section for um once, and then after the section, the other section is like a repeat a loop. Okay. So the first section is just this part. That part. Okay. So it's pretty simple. I'll give you like um, a pattern and you'll know exactly what to do. So, uh, it's two hands. What the two hands are doing is actually exactly the same, but one of them is an octave below. So, I'll tell you on the, in terms of the right hand first. So the right hand starts on the E here. So middle C is here for reference. We start on the E just below here. So it goes, okay, it's A, E, up to D, down back to E, up to B, A, G. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six note pattern, okay? So remember these six notes, it goes, E, D, E, B, A, G, like that, okay? Like that, okay? It's kind of fast as well. Like that. So there's six notes. You have to remember these six notes because on the left hand, it's actually exactly the same, these six notes, but just play one octave below. So we, okay, this E, right? We go another, we start on the E below right there, okay? So it goes E, D, E, B, A, G. Exactly the same. Yeah, so what you want to do is play the right hand six note motive first, followed instantly by the left hand six note motive, okay? Just like this. Like that. You got it. Sounds awesome. Like that, okay? So it does take a bit of practice because it is kind of fast and uh, it's hard to kind of coordinate uh, sometimes, okay? So yeah, but just remember, this is the easy pattern to remember. It's the six note uh, pattern on the right hand play it there and then an octave below for the left hand, okay? It should be easier to remember like that. Like that, just practice it until you can get it really even and smooth uh, like that rhythm. It's very like, clicks and very, clicks into the rhythm and it's very clear and articulate. Yeah, make it kind of like staccato as well because it's kind of bouncy. Like that. Okay, once you got this section, let's move on to the other section because that other section is really catchy as well, okay? So here we go. Most of this section is the left hand, okay? So I'll teach you the notes right now for the left hand, and then I'll just tell you the last four notes on the right hand, okay? So yeah, let's do it. So it starts on the E down here, so middle C is here, go an octave C, it's the E below that, okay? So it goes two E's, and then G sharp, up to B, up to D, back down to G sharp, and then A, A, G, F sharp, F, E, and then up an octave to the higher E, back down to the lower octave E, and then F sharp, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and then up an octave to the high A here. Yeah, and then the right hand, it has this kind of like, after that, it follows that by itself. Okay, right hand, it goes E and A together, twice, and then D sharp and G sharp together, and then E and A together as well. So it's like this, like that. Okay, yeah, like that. So it's pretty simple, it's the left hand bass note, and then at the end, it's just the right hand. Okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, here we go, let's do it again. So it goes E, E, G sharp, B, D, G sharp, A, A, G, F sharp, F natural, E, high E, low E, F sharp, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, up to the octave A, and then da, 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 like that, okay? Yeah, so you want to kind of like listen to, if you know the original very well, you should get the rhythm pretty good. But yeah, it is, um, I guess, a very syncopated kind of like rhythm to it, okay? So it's like, da, 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 da. Okay, let me see, I can actually maybe turn on the metronome on the side here. Let's see, okay. Let me see. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Like that, 
okay? So yeah, I guess it will be easier if you practice the metronome because it kind of like conducts for you and you don't have to kind of like count internally. What you do, you have to kind of like match it up with your internal counting, but it does help you. It's like a, now the metronome, as I always say, is kind of like a, like, conductor, but you don't have to have a real person to conduct for you. Yeah, so yeah, okay, so that's just the second section. After that, you just can just repeat that second section over again, okay, so. And repeat from the section. So that's that. The second section is repeating in that, uh, um, like those bars alone. You don't really play the uh, first section. The first section kind of starts off the song, as you can hear in the original as well. They're very awesome. And there's like, um, yeah, and then it starts instantly. Okay, so it's like, like that. And just repeat it. So remember for the left hand, don't be afraid to kind of like uh, play a little bit more harsher because in the original, the uh, it's kind of like a bass, it's like slapping the bass, it's, it's kind of like a rough sound, so you can just do... Make it kind of like more accented and yeah, I guess it's a lot more slicker if you do that um, because like the rhythm stands out a bit more like that, okay? But obviously you need to get the rhythm right first or else you just be like emphasizing on the wrong rhythm and stuff. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So remember, section one, practice that very good, make it smooth, and then it flows right into the second section, okay? So remember, it's, it's like pretty much instant. It's like... Like right into it. So yeah, I guess the other part where um, near the middle, the da, 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 that's like a fast jump, okay? For smaller hand people, you might have to have a little bit of trouble to uh, like always plan for that jump there, okay? But anyway, should be fine if you practice enough. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. So hope you enjoyed this lesson, this step-by-step -step tutorial. Like, like even every, every, everyone, even without any um, music experience can actually learn because I broke it down so um, easily and all the steps like that. But anyway, if you liked learning like this, I have so many of other, these other tutorials. No, no, I can't even talk properly. I have so many of these other tutorials on my channel. So there's like over 2,700 piano videos I have on this channel. So a lot of stuff for you to enjoy and learn from. So yeah, check it out as well. Check out my website as well if you want to learn more about piano from me, like all these other advanced courses, improvisation courses, how to play by ear, and all this other stuff, I have my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below, check it out as well. But as for now, enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.